Hey, Floss Tube, it's Diane, the Hot Mess Princess, and I'm in a car. Um, the reason I'm in the car, well, wait, actually, let me first tell you today's Floss Tube is going to be in three sections. Um, first, obviously, in the car. Um, second, uh, it is also today is National Stitch in Public Day. It's being celebrated by the Embroiderers Guild of America today, of which I am a proud member. So my chapter, the Fort Worth, Texas uh, EGA, is going to celebrate Stitch in Public Day by patronizing a local business here in Arlington. Uh, my neighbors are all looking at me <laughs> like I'm nuts. Hi. Um, so a little bit more about that later. I'm going to try to do some video uh, from Stitch in Public Day. And I put the word out in, in uh, one of our stitchy groups that is local DFW area stitchers. So I'm hoping that maybe I'll get to meet some new friends today. Uh, but uh, so that's going on today. So I'll have more for you in this floss tube about that. And then, of course, my regular floss tube, which is whips and haul and all kinds of stuff. And obviously, I'm going to have some haul because I'm going to the stitch niche right now, which is why I'm in the car. They announced um, this week that they're having a 20% off sale today because it's their dog tanks second, or it's the second annual. I don't know if it's the second birthday, but it's the second annual sale in honor of Tank's birthday, and that's just freaking adorable. Plus, he's a Great Dane, and y'all know I have a St. Bernard and a St. Berdoodle, and I love big dogs. So, um, I'm going to go and support Hank, and um, he's... He's not in the store. They, uh, I don't think they're going to bring him to the store. Dang it. I would love to meet Hank. But um, I'm going to go do some shopping. And I made Tank a present. Did I say Hank or Tank? It's Tank. I made him a present. Tank's treats. So I'm going to go take Tank some treats and or Tank's mom and dad some treats and do some shopping. And I will be back later with um how my day went so i hope you guys are having a good saturday today any saturday is a good day, saturday to me so see you soon rogue stitcher permission to dock at the mothership ah! okay i'm back from the stitch niche i am also freshly back from stitch in public day so um uh, a word about the, the Stitch Niche sale was awesome. The store was hopping. There were lots of people there shopping. Uh, they were super happy with the birthday gift I made for Tank. So that was fun. Um, and I did do some shopping. So I have haul to share today. Um, Stitch in Public Day today, I shared this in um, the DFW Cross Stitcher group because, you know, if you're not local, you couldn't get here in time. But, um, my chapter of the Embroiderers Guild of America did, um, we celebrated Stitch in Public Day today by Stitching in Public. So um, I coordinated it for our chapter. I had a great time doing it. Everybody was so super supportive and we had a lot of members come out and Stitch in Public and we reached out and invited some folks from the DFW Cross Stitchers group on Facebook. And we had a few people show up from that. So that was really awesome. We had um, Kobe and Ann show up. So um, that was fun. And Ann brought um, treats for everyone, um, stitchy treats. So, <laughs> so that was really cool. But um, anyway, it was a really fun event. And they did allow me to take some video of it. So, uh, um, let me just share that first and then we'll go into regular floss tube. So here's a little highlight from stitch in public day. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Everybody say hi floss tube. Hi floss tube. Yay. Say hi floss tube. Hi floss tube. We're out. Show, show us your ambrosia honey ladies. Show us the front of those. Look at those. Everybody, let's see what you're stitching. Amazing. Amazing. Stitch in public day. Look. That's awesome. Yay. Hi. Yay. So that was really, it was really fun. It was good to get together with everyone. We met Kobe and Anne and then, um, 
uh, towards the, the later half of the day, we, um, these two girls who were, they were probably, I don't know, seniors in high school, maybe a little bit older. I don't know. You know, the older you get, the, the younger everyone in the universe looks, but, um, they were, they were pretty young and they stopped to look at what everybody was stitching and they were really, really interested. So I had brought some, um, small, uh, giveaway kits, uh, just little like ladybugs and lighthouses. Uh, DMC used to used to give them out for free to people who wanted to teach cross stitch. So I had several of those kits. So I let them pick which one they wanted, and we gave them information about uh, when we meet and what the EGA is all about. And they were really interested. And I I love that stitching is sort of coming back in a way for people. It is a it's a great needlework is a great craft, not just cross stitch, but embroidery and needlepoint and ribbon embroidery and all the, the different manifestations of needlework. It's, yeah, it's so much fun. And I, I love learning about all the different types. So it's really fun for me to get out there and promote um, the Embroiderers Guild of America. So that was fun. So, okay. So now I've shared all that. Uh, let's talk about haul because I do have some haul. Um, but first, here's I have some haul to share that everybody can get if you're into this sort of daunting, <laughs> endless project. Um, the wonderful people at Heaven and Earth Designs sent out a new freebie. Look at this thing. It's called the Freebie Peacock Daisy. It's so pretty. And as you can see, see this? Yeah, Rebel the Kitten does not want me to stitch this. Look at that. That's just vicious. So anyway, um, that's the freebie Peacock Daisy. Go to, um, look, just Google Heaven and Earth Designs if you've never heard of them before. Um, their projects are massive and have a huge amount of colors. And I have never completed one. But when they're completed... They're beautiful. I've seen them and they're absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, that's a freebie and I downloaded and printed it, obviously. Um, and then the Stitch Niche sale, uh, the Stitch Niche had 20% off today um, for their Great Dane Tanks birthday. So um, I last time I shared with you that I got this punch needle um, at the Stitch Niche. So when I was there today for the 20% off sale, I thought, well, I'll just get the supplies that I need in order to stitch this because it comes with the fabric and the pattern, but it doesn't come with the fibers. And I figured I would need a bigger hoop. So, and the pattern, you know, it's just an outline like that, right? Um, and it, that's what it ends up looking like. You have to, you have to trace it onto the fabric in some way. The fabric just is blank. So, um, thankfully I have a light board. So, um, it was like 20 bucks on Amazon it was super because it's only USB powered, you know, so you have to plug it into a USB port, but it works fabulously and I absolutely love it. So I traced onto the fabric and then I realized I was going to need a big hoop. So when I was at the stitch niche, they actually had the Morgan hoop, which is a, you'll see. Um, I'll show you this. It's a lap stand sort of a situation. So this is the card that came with it to show you how to put it together. So that's part of my haul. And then I got all of the fibers that um, I needed to stitch this piece. And then right at the register, um, there's a lady who makes project bags for them and puts them on sale. And they had this. It's coffee themed. And I needed it. So, and these are such great pride. This is a really big project bag. It's nicely sized. So I got this project bag. So that's that haul. And then one of the folks from the DFW Cross Stitchers group on Facebook, um, she was not a member of, she's not a member of our EGA chapter. Um, her name's Anne. She was super fun to talk to. Um, she came in with a box of um, DMC 899 for us and just said, please take it. I have more than enough. You know, so we all got, we all came back with some DMC 899. So that's a little bit of haul too. And um, like I said, she was just super fun to 
to talk to. So that's Hall. Um, works in progress. I have some progress. So um, let's do Cross Stitch Nation first. That's Cross Stitch Nation by Heartstring Samplery. And so, yay! I've made some progress on that. And Sleepy Hollow by the Cricut Collection. Remember the last time I showed you Sleepy Hollow, I only had the one stitch that I put in while standing on Headless Horseman Bridge in Sleepy Hollow. The horseman's coming. Watch out. So I've been booking on that. It's been a, oh, I'm out of focus. There we go. Um, it's been a really fun project to do. Uh, Westminster Abbey bookmark. I bought this bookmark kit at Westminster Abbey a year ago. Just a medieval garden is what it's supposed to be. It's just flowery. I have another kit and I saw it today and I thought, why didn't I start that one? I like it so much more than this one. So I have no idea why I started this one first. I haven't made any progress on that, but it is still in my active rotation because I can travel with that. It's the holes are big enough. So, um, and then Little House Needleworks, My Lady at Christmas. Haven't made any progress on that. Sorry. It's only so many hours in the day. Um, and then new project to add into the rotation, obviously, is the Halloween Punch Needle, which is on my Morgan frame. See what I mean? This gigantic right so this is the working side that's why it's uh doesn't eh, no it doesn't look backwards to me on the camera but um anyway that's that's the working side that's the side you stab repeatedly and then that's actually the punch needle side so um that is a work in progress i will not be traveling with that even though i can see punch needle without a magnifier but there's there's no way I can travel with that. So those are my works in progress. So I think last time I shared with you that um, in a, the Rebel update, Rebel the Kitten, that um, she had stolen her airplane fishing pole and I could not find it and she was a little thief. So I need to take a moment to publicly apologize to Rebel the Kitten because she didn't steal it. I misplaced it. <laughs> it's really high up on a shelf because she steals fishing poles and I'm afraid she's going to get all tangled up in the, you know, the cord. And so I keep them in a drawer or somewhere and I thought I put it in a drawer and I put it up really high on a shelf and I, she was framed. I apologize. Um, and then an unfortunate insomnia update. I shared with you guys last time that Lindy, the amazing Lindy, had sent me this magnesium spray that seemed to be, you know, kind of working and stuff. So funny story to share. And um, if you're sensitive to talks about, well, if, 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 you're, if you're sensitive, maybe just turn this off. <laughs> right now because this is going to get good. So anyway, um, I was at um, an event the other day and the backs of my knees were itching like crazy. And the only thing, uh, the only thing I could think of was, you know, you sp I'm supposed to spray that magnesium spray on the back of my knees and calves and the top of your feet and the small of your back. So back of my knees were itching like crazy and I'm like oh my god am I having some sort of a reaction to the magnesium spray what's going on because I've used it several times before and have not had any kind of reaction and so I'm like you know it wasn't in a place where I could go take a shower and wash off any magnesium residue <laughs> and um so a friend um, was, we were digging through our purses looking for wipey things. And the only thing available um, was 
a couple of feminine hygiene wipes. <laughs> so I cleaned off the back of my, or I wiped down the back of my knees with feminine <laughs> hygiene wipes. And um, I thought it would make, I thought it made a difference at first. I'm like, okay, so I went about the rest of my day. And I came back later to my friend and I actually said this sentence, which I'm pretty sure has never, ever been said in the history of the universe before. I said, those feminine hygiene wipes didn't help the back of my knees at all. <laughs> we just bust up laughing. I'm like, ah, I got nothing. So anyway, um, it's making me really itchy and... Uh, that was not a favorable experience. I'm, and, and then one, someone today that I, I told that story to some, some of the girls in my EGA chapter, and one of them asked me if I take vitamins and I'm really, really bad about taking vitamins religiously. And, um, she said, you know, vitamin or um, magnesium and calcium are pretty, they're related to each other, um, in terms of you can't absorb one without the other or vice versa. And she said, you know, it could be, it could be that you have an imbalance, uh, to which I replied, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> there is no balance. But um, anyway, I'm going to stop using that spray until I figure out what the itchiness is coming from because, oh, God, I can't stand that. So um, anyway, there's there's that. So I think I'm done oversharing now. I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. So I will be back. Um, I tend to update my, well, I always update my Facebook fan page and my Instagram account with shenanigans that are going on throughout the week. So um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I will um, share links in the little, you know, drop down thing, the, the, the YouTube description on this video. And I think that's about it. So until next time, please be nice humans. Thanks. Bye.